<laughs> How are you, Mark? This looks good. good. I'm excited. What are we making? Right, so we're going to do a, a take on a Greek classic. Okay. So what's a Greek classic? Moussaka. And what's the main ingredient in moussaka? Um, wine? No. <laughs> no, we've got wine. Eggplant. Okay. You know, so if you want to, if you know, you want to make some recipes at certain times of year, and then it, it, eggplants might be too expensive or might be unavailable, and then uh, sometimes you have to adapt. Right. So, so hints, no eggplant. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we couldn't get any eggplant. So what we're going to do is, you know, we still want those flavours of uh, misaka. You know, yeah. we've got those sweet, sweet spices there. We've got the mince in there, and we're going to layer it up, and we're going to keep that creamy cheese sauce. But we're going to add a few more extra ingredients. Take the eggplant out. We've got some pumpkin in there, and Brilliant. we're going to do a nice sort of tomato and chili layer as well. So it's going to be. Uh, Bit of fusion Greek food. I like mm. it. It's real life cooking. We couldn't find <laughs> the is. eggplant, so we just adapt. <laughs> and this is what you can do with things in your cupboard. We will get the tricks to make this a little later in the show. And we are back <laughs> in the Beko kitchen, and we are making a Greek stack today, which is looking fantastic with all these ingredients. Well, that's it. I mean, well, we, we've we've taken one ingredient and we've swapped it for a couple. Right. So, so we're going to crack, get cracking now. Yeah, let's right. go. So we've got some mince. Yes. And we're going to brown that off first. So okay, that's your cool. job, chef. Get the alpha one in there. Brown right, it off. So get it, get it hot. We've got the heat on. Yep. Um, break it get down. Get the mince in there. And as you brown in it, you want to be breaking up the meat as well. That's cool. it. Oh, good. You've done that before. Yeah, I have. Made a few spag bowls in the days, mate. There you go. A little bit of salt and pepper as you're doing it. You know. Okay. Cool. Start getting the flavour in. Right, and then we're going to uh, we're going to add some flavours to the mince, make it taste good. So a little bit of onion. And some garlic as well, which I'm just going to chop up now. And then once we get a nice brown colour, we're going to add our uh, onion and garlic in there. Okay, great. And then we've got some spices. Well, we've got some sweet spices, you know. Um, Greek food, a lot of um, cinnamon in there, sweet spices, allspice, nutmeg, you know, those sort of flavours, like oh, really good. I was just going to ask you that. What makes it Greek, I guess? Uh, sweet the, spices. Just the spices. Okay, good. It's going to be great. And eggplant. And eggplant. <laughs> That's all right. You know, sometimes in life you go and open the fridge, don't you, or the pantry, and you don't have exactly what you need. No, exactly. And then you and, you exactly. and that's, and that's yeah. the good thing about cooking and recipes, you know. You can use it as a guideline, you know, and then um, just swap ingredients out. If you don't like them, swap them out or try it with something different. And if you haven't got it or you can't get it in the supermarket or it's too expensive, you know, use something else. And that's great. And then sometimes those recipes are oh, even better than the original. That's right. Winners. Winner, exactly. winner. Greek dinner. Okay, cool. <laughs> Nice. Right, onions and garlic go in there, so keep the heat up, you know, we'll sweat them down, so no colour on there, just releasing all the flavours. Right, and then as we're cooking it, we're going to pop a little bit of our cinnamon in there. So that goes in there. A bit of allspice as well. Allspice. Oh, nice and sweet. Or oh, the aromas are yeah. starting to... It's it almost on beginning here. to smell like a cake now. Ooh, it does actually. <laughs> yeah. right. But it's really good, keep going with it. A um, little bit of our oregano. Okay. There, and then we're going to get some tomato base in. So I've got a bit of puree and a can of tomatoes as well. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of flour in as well. And this is just going to help thicken the sauce and keep it all together, you know? Okay, great. So we'll just sprinkle a little bit in. And then stir that through. Stir it around. Well, it does smell like a cake, doesn't it? <laughs> just got another whoop of it. <laughs> Smells like Easter. <laughs> okay. But this right. is smelling really good. I think our onions are softening up a bit. So we're going to pop the tomato puree in. Yep. And then, and then some wine as well. So I've got some red wine in here. So really good. It helps with the uh, sort of the richness of the sauce. You know, if you don't want to put the wine in, you don't need to. Okay, um, cool. But it's a nice addition. Just a little bit. You know, cool. Gives an excuse to buy a bottle, use a little bit in cooking, and then drink the rest. Ah, sounds you know. perfect. And a red wine would go quite nice with this, wouldn't it? Exactly. All right, and then some tomatoes in there. Great. You know, and that's great, and that's the base of your sauce, you know. So if you're making a masaka, those, those are the ingredients. Easy. Um, that's what we do. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to dice some pumpkin. I'm going to let that cook for about five minutes and sort of turn into a bit of a sauce. Okay. And then I'm going to dice some pumpkin and pop it in there, and then we want to cook it for about 20 minutes, and then that is uh, the first layer ready to build in our um, dish. Okay, brilliant. Sounds good. This is starting to smell fantastic and we'll get the next layers to building this Greek stack very soon. Well we are back in the Beko kitchen, we're going to start stacking our Greek stack soon but I just thought I'd better check this because it's vital isn't it to check. Oh, salt you need to taste, taste mm. every stage and season lightly every stage. Okay I think the salt's right but I'm just a little bit more pepper I think. There you go. Good work. Thank you. Right we're going to make a, a, a white sauce or so a bechamel. Mm -hmm. We've got a few different ingredients in there as well but what you want to do, same principles, melty butter, Pop your flour in, stir all that together. Okay, cool. You're a lot faster than me last week making the bechamel. I was really slow. <laughs> Not because I just didn't want to get lumps in it. No, no, and, that, and that's it. You know, you, you do, you do yeah. want to take your time. But then the key is 
get it all together and then just um, you know, slowly add. Slowly add. Okay, okay, cool. So we've got the butter, the flour. Yeah, butter and flour, and then you know your butter's going to richen it. The flour is going to thicken it. But you know the important thing. What was the important thing? Slow. Slow so you don't get it lumpy, and That's then right. make sure you um, cook it out as well. Okay. You know, so it's not like a, a powdery taste. Okay, great. Right. So that all goes in there, so that's good. We'll bring that up to the boil. And then we're going to flavour it. We're going to put some cheese in it. So I've got a little bit of Parmesan cheese as well for some nice richness, and mm -hmm. then mozzarella cheese, and that's going to give Ooh. us that nice sort of stringy, rich, um, you know, creaminess to the top part of this. And there's also a little bit of uh, nutmeg. So you can use fresh nutmeg or uh, a little bit of um, powdered stuff just to flavour it as well. So going again with those sweet spices, um, you know, with the Greek influence. And um, also an egg goes in there as well. So we're going to make the sauce, cool it down a little bit, and then yeah. we're just going to whisk an egg, uh, an egg in and stir it through, and that's going to help set it. And then that yolk in the egg as well yeah. just gives it that extra richness and a little bit of colour when we bake it in the Brilliant. oven. Brilliant. OK, what? now this is thickening up quite nicely. Do I need to turn it down or add some more water? Or no, 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 that's, that's good. Happy? I think we're, we're ready to go now. So you can carefully pour it in there. OK. And then so I've got... in here? Yep. OK, cool. And then I'm just going to slice a little bit of chilli. You know, that's an, that's an optional um, extra. You know, it just gives it a nice bit of flavour, a little kick to it. It's quite nice. I love chilli. Put it in everything. I quite like the um, touch of the little pumpkin you put in here. That's yeah, good. no, and it's great, you know, and it's, um, you know, it's good vegetables, cheap at this time of year, and why not, you know, yeah, pop it good. in. It's a sweet vegetable, so it'll, it'll go mm. in with our theme. All right, you keep stirring that, don't okay, make it lumpy. Cool. Ooh, and then I've got some um, uh, tomatoes as well, so I'm just going to slice these tomatoes, and I'm going to do a layer of tomatoes. So as we cook this in the oven, because remember, it's going to go in the oven, it's going to give us a nice sort of juicy layer in here. Okay, great. So, so this quite is good. stacking, really? Yeah, and, and then as it... As it cooks as well, you're going to release some of that liquid out of the tomato, and it's just going to, you know, it's going to help with the sauce oh, and meat true. layer. You know, it's not going to make it too wet, but it's going to keep it nice and moist. But then anything, you know, anything with layers and stacks, and then, you know, especially these fresh tomatoes, I'm just going to give that a light seasoning as well. Okay, cool. So you can do that. Okay, sweet. A little bit you of watch a seasoning. Your sauce. So you can see that's starting to thicken up now. That's yes. really good. We'll pop a little bit good. of um, salt and pepper in this layer as well. Okay. And then I've got Keep the parmesan up. cheese and the mozzarella. And then once we're happy that that flour is cooked out, we're just going to take it off the heat, stir through the cheese, and then let it cool down a little bit, and then we'll just whisk in an egg. Okay, great. Stir it, and then that is it. And then we'll pour it on top. Pour it on top. Pop it into a hot oven yes. for about sort of 45 minutes or so, mm. about 180 degrees. And then you'll get a nice beautiful colour on top. The, the creamy layer will be oh. set, it'll be nice and juicy, and it's just going to be absolutely beautiful. I'm really pleased we had no eggplant, because this has turned out quite nice, hasn't it? We'll be the judge of that a little later on. Uh, you keep an eye on your sauce, I think that is really there, Mark. Okay, um, you've been on fire all week, though. This is fantastic. It's come out great, hasn't it? It has, mm. I can't wait to taste it. What are you doing tomorrow? Well, I've got another uh, take on a classic, a chili con carne, but maybe chicken. Oh, good, that smells delicious.